Hey, what's up, guys? My name is London, and I'm here to do your daily tell reading for Monday, August 29th of 2016. I picked three cards from the classic Llewellyn's Tarot to give me a depiction of the energies for this upcoming Monday. I have an angel tarot card to give me an overall theme of the day, and I have my favorite oracle deck, the Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle, to give me spirit guide advice and angel advice for this upcoming Monday's energies. So let's get started. The first card that we have from the classic Llewellyn's Tarot is the Knight of Cups in reverse. Let's take a look at him upright. Um, the Knight of Cups shows this man who's armored, as you can see. He holds a chalice in his hand. He's on the back of this horse or riding this horse that seems to be moving slowly, as you can see. And he has his eyes closed and he's just moving forward, but very slowly. <laughs> And this is, um, this came up in reverse. So let's talk about the night energy. The night energy is a very fast moving energy. The night energy is all about extremes, all about, um, you know, the extreme of any suit. So they take everything to the extreme. So with this being the cups, this person is overly emotional. He's temperamental. He's motivated by his emotions. He's, uh, he lacks self-restraint and he's, he takes an unrealistic approach to things because he's not emotionally balanced. Uh, and with this in reverse, it's actually a good thing that this is in reverse. It's letting us know that we're not to be like that, not to be, um, you know, overly emotional or temperamental in the things that you're dealing with. It's letting you know that you're grounded. You're able to deal with things. Um, you don't take unrealistic approaches to things. You see things clearly and you're able to deal with things with a calm manner and without like being, um, just like overly stressed out or overly emotional about things that you may be dealing with. So you're pretty grounded. Good, good card. Um, the next card that we have is the two of pentacles, which shows this jester, as you can see. And there's this jester. He's standing on this rock and he's balancing himself on this rock. He's also balancing these two pinnacles with the infinity sign. And you see these ships in the background. I've never really noticed that. The ships in the background look like they're crashing. This one almost looks like it's about to run into something. And, um, you know, this card is all about keeping the balance, you know, really maintaining uh, a challenging situation. You know, this again, with it being a pinnacle card, it could be talking about your finances with, you know, really budgeting your finances. It could also be talking about, you know, um, balancing your home and work, um, different situations that you have to deal with, really multitasking those situations situations and maintaining um, a balance while dealing with different things. So it's letting you know what I'm getting from this, these two cards is letting you know that you're not overly emotional. You're in a, a place right now where you're able to deal with different things that may be thrown at you without being overly stressed or overly um Mm, I don't know what the word I can think is, <laughs> but it's letting you know that you're able to be stable. You know, that's a good word for it. Is you're able to be stable and to make good decisions and not be so stressed out around these dis, um, these decisions that you're making or these things that you're dealing with. It's letting you know that you're able to keep a calm manner while dealing with different things. And I'm also being guided to the fact that this man's eyes are closed also. His eyes are closed and the knight's eyes are closed also. So we're going to have to look at the next card and see if we can figure out what that means. The last card that we have from the classic to, um, tarot, Llewellyn's Tarot, is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. And this card shows these two people who are in um, challenging circumstances. This is a card of lack. This is a card of poverty. This is a being blind to help, you know, um, having hard times and struggling to get your needs met. It shows them in the winter season, which I always describe as a rough 
hard preparation season shows this um, church that they're standing out in front of and they're really struggling but it seems I've never noticed this it seems that this man is struggling a lot more than this woman that is helping him she's almost he he can't walk straight as you can see as a cane and this woman is helping him walk um they both have their eyes closed once again so there's something that we aren't seeing. There's something that is um, a signal or something that is trying to get across that um, that you're not seeing. But let's get back to this card. It's letting us know that um, assistance is available. It's letting you know that um, maybe this is someone that you're helping. But it's letting you know to be generous with that person. It's le letting you know to help that the, uh, the people that may be going around and going and having some hard times in their lives. It's letting you know to help those people. Um, this could be either you or this could, whatever person you identify with this card. The person who is really falling on some hard, hard times or the person that is helping the person. It really doesn't um, make itself clear in this card, but it's letting you know that with the two of pentacles that you're able to deal with this, you're able to stay balanced and to able. So maybe you are this person right here that's helping. So it's letting you know that you're able to deal with this, that you're grounded enough to deal with this, you're, um, you're calm enough and patient enough to deal with this. And it's letting you know to help other people because there is assistance available for this man in these, these two people. You know, they can go in this church and get warm and eat and I'm sure that a church would be open arms to helping you if you were dealing with um, this type of situation in your life. But it's letting you know to look for those opportunities for help. Look for um, generous people that can help you in challenging times. And if you are this person, which I believe that you are, is letting you know to help those people. Be generous with them. Um, if you have um, something to offer them that they need, help them. Okay, get this to focus. And the overall theme for today, let's look and see. The page of air, the page of swords, it describes this person as logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. And it says challenging information, delays or changes to plans, and truth delivered without tact. This is the page of swords. The pages are messenger cards. And with it being the uh, card of air, it's all about communication. The air signs are all about communication and thoughts and all of that stuff. So this is um, a message that may come to you today. So you may get a message today of someone who needs help. That's what I'm getting from this reading. You may, And you're in a place in your life right now where you're emotionally stable and calm enough. You've multitasked and you have a balanced routine of what you're dealing with in your life. You're like, you're pretty balanced. Your finances are balanced. You're able to maintain things. And even if you're on a budget, you're able to help out other people. But it's telling you challenging information, delays or changes to plans and truth delivered without tag. So you may have some changes that come to you, maybe some things come to you that um, really challenge you. Maybe it's other people or circumstances that you're dealing with in your own life, but it's letting, letting you know that there may be some delays around this situation. Maybe things don't move as quickly as you have imagined. Or maybe you have to, um, you know, you're thinking that you're going to do one thing on this day. You have a, th a whole set goal of things to get done on this day. And then, you know, something comes in that changes that. But it's letting you know that you may get some news that challenges you a bit. But what I'm being guided to with this is the two of pentacles. It's letting you know that even though there's some chaos with these crashing um boats and him um, really trying to stay balanced on this rock that is teetering is letting you know that you have what it takes. That's the main thing that you should get from this reading. If you don't listen to anything else I say, it's telling you to that you have what it takes to overcome this situation and um, you have what it takes to deal with it. And it's telling you that if other people need help, please help those people because you're in a good position to do so for today. Spirit got advice and angel advice. And I forgot, I got two cards from this. And the first card is pay attention. Pay attention. And I think that is really, get this to focus. I think that is really hitting with these three cards. Because we're going to bring these up in the reading right now. We're going to focus this so you guys can see. 
what I'm talking about. As you can see, every last one of these people, their eyes are closed. Their eyes are closed. So this is telling us that you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention because there's something that your guides are with you that are trying to show you, but you're not seeing. And it says, notice re repetitious signs in your inner guidance as it can yield valuable information. And it's letting you know that if some information wants to come to you. There's something that, that can help you with the situations that you're dealing with in your life, but you're not really paying attention to that. And I think it has to do with assistance. It has to do with um, getting the assistance you need or giving the assistance to someone else that they may need to help them get out of this hard, rough season in their lives. And it's telling you that you're able to deal with it. You're able to stay balanced and um, to deal with this situation and to keep a calm manner about yourself while dealing with these hard times that you may be dealing with or that someone else in your life may be dealing with. So notice the signs that spirit is putting in front of you. And those signs could be anything. Those signs can have to do with um, just, you know, getting a thought process or a thought that comes to you to do something at a certain time or to go somewhere at a certain time or to help. Uh, like, say, for instance, you see someone out on the streets and they're begging you for a dollar or two dollars. It's telling you to go and help that person get to pay attention to the guidance and help those people. Um, the last card that we have is explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities and it's a good time to make changes. So it's letting you know that to explore your options and the things that you're dealing with um, is telling you that you have what it takes to move forward with these things. And it's telling you that if changes need to be made, if you um, need to make some changes in your life, then now is a good time to make those changes. It's telling you that, you know, there may be some changes that come up for you anyway with the page of of earth, maybe some delays or some changes around the things that you thought that you were going to get done at a certain time, but it's telling you that it is a good time to make those changes no matter what you're dealing with. All right, guys, these are the messages that I have for today. Go out and help someone if you can, or if you're the one that needs help, look for assistance because there's assistance that's available to you that you may not be paying attention to. All right, guys, um, these are the messages that I have for Monday. I will be back with you for tomorrow's reading. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with you soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.